Hello loves, it's Kelly and welcome to my channel and a great big welcome to my new subscribers. So happy that you've joined my little YouTube family and of course, welcome back everyone. Today I have a very short video and a small share for Embellish With Us Wednesday. And this is an open collaboration hosted by three lovelies, Judith at Gigi's Cool Creation, Raina at Lilo's Crafts, and Marianne at Marianne's Crafty Corner. And it is an open collaboration. You can jump in and out each week as it suits you. And that's great because this week I really needed to get a card in the mail and so this gave me an opportunity to use some leftovers <laughs> to create a very small embellishment i also missed tea tuesday yesterday was just too much and it was really like i had the candle burning at both ends so i am sharing my coffee wednesday <laughs> i think this might be a regular for me i might just have like coffee talk wednesday this is actually a super yummy blonde coffee and i normally do not go for the lighter coffees i am an espresso girl <laughs> this is from my beautiful friend elsa at elsa's bargain hunting crafter and she sent me a sweet little series of espresso and coffee themed tear tray items but this is one for my daughter. She said she didn't like it. She got this from a Starbucks and it is the blonde roast so that I could make my, um, the espresso that I love so much. I drink the brown sugar shaken espresso at Starbucks, the iced one. So we got this to try it at home. I think it's great. I like it, especially when you put an actual shot of espresso mixed with the blonde roast. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Super good. So that's what I'm drinking here today. You can see how light it is. Normally my coffee, not even joking, looks like this. <laughs> I like my coffee to be strong. All right, my friends, this is what I created for today. Let me see if I can find the card, which I did literally have on my desk, which if you could see the outskirts of my desk, you would scream. <laughs> I'm screaming. This is the beautiful card that I made that I'll be sending to a friend. You know, I love making homemade cards. This is the butterfly from, oh look, you can even see little bits and pieces. <laughs> you know what we call this in the crafting world? Confetti. <laughs> there you go. This is from uh, Hero Arts. And I ran it through a white cardstock, just 120 pound uh, weight cardstock. And once that was done, I did some color blocking. I ended up putting three different colors of, um, mum, 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 mum. I'm drawing a blank. <laughs> cardstock. Oh my goodness. I'm a card maker and I forgot the word cardstock. <laughs> See, I need to go back to my espresso. I'm not on my game today. <laughs> so I love these butterflies. Even though this is my year of butterfly, I love this for all year long. You could do fall themed. You could even do a Christmas one if you really wanted to personalize it for someone that loves butterflies. And I know a lot of you out there do. This is going to be heading to a sweet friend and I put hello on there. So because I had all of these die cut parts of the butterflies, so once you run this through the die cutting machine, all of these are loose. So I had a desk full of white butterflies, um, teal butterflies, I had some fuchsia butterflies and some yellow butterflies all over the place. And I had an idea. You know I love using my Polaroid die. It is one of my absolute favorites in my collection. This is from, oh here's the die. This is from um, Altenew. That one goes there. This is from Heffy Doodle and I use it all the time. This was actually what inspired me when I saw all of these little die cuts, just a little butterfly I put on the back of this. I made a little shaker element. I made a little shaker embellishment and these just turned out so adorable. So instead of throwing them away, I turned it into a actual embellishment that I can mail. And then over here, as you can see here, let's get those out of the way so you can see better. I popped up two here and then I used a grass die and I believe that is from maybe Lawn Fawn, I think it is, a, or maybe MFT stamps. So I did use a grass border here, put up some of the little butterflies. I just think this is so cute. I'm so glad I was able to repurpose these little pieces that came out of here. So this is actually this, and all of these little butterflies are what came out of here. I popped up a couple on some foam just to have a little bit of uh, drama. <laughs> as I like to say, I like to have cards that have a little character, or as I say, drama. I really, really love how this turned out. So this will be the set that's going to go in here. I haven't wrote, 
wrote, written. <laughs> There's nothing in the card today because I have um, a stamp that I'm going to put on the inside of here as well. So there you go. That is my embellish for today. And I still had extra scraps left over. So I decided to use this one here and I just laid them across. Whatever fit, fit. Whatever didn't, didn't. And this is what I came up with. I think this is really kind of neat. It's kind of groovy. So if you have just a piece of, let me use this as a sample. Let's just say you have, oh, here, here's one. If you just have like a white background or maybe a small speckled background. I thought I had one over here. Um, I had a completed card and then I changed my mind, decided I didn't want to send that. Oh my goodness, I'm a mess. <laughs> I am an absolute mess today. So we'll just try this one instead. Pretend like this is a splattered speckled background. There we go. We'll just We'll improv. <laughs> it looked something like this, and I just thought that would be a great little pop-up um, embellishment to a card. Put some foam on the back of this and just pop that right up. As you can see, this one here is supposed to be uh, a silhouette like those, but I decided to leave it as it was. I think that's just so sweet. I really, really do. This was scrap paper, my friends, something that I wasn't going to use and something that probably would have ended up in the trash because the pieces were so small. You know I love to upcycle. You know I don't like to throw anything away if I can help it without, you know, hoarding. <laughs> if it's actual usable, then I will try to keep it and put it to good use. So there you go. This is this beautiful butterfly, um, die. I have no, I think this might be Simon Says Stamp. It's one of the big name companies, but I can't remember which one. I also had a small piece of watercolor paper on my desk that I was playing around with some watercolors. I loved how the panel came out. So I decided to go ahead and die cut that as well. Same thing, just did a little die cut. I'm in love with this one. I think matter of fact, it might go right on here like that. Actually looks a little too busy. Maybe not. <laughs> okay, we'll go back to a solid background or something with speckles. Isn't that beautiful? I love how that turned out. It was just an, that was a moment of opportunity because I happen to have that already on my desk. There you go, my friend. That is what I have for this embellishment Wednesday. I hope you follow that hashtag. It's a really wonderful opportunity to see what everyone has created today. And I'm going to go get this in the mail. I have some friend mail that I'm uh, sending to someone and I wanted to add this in there as part of the little set that I'm putting together. So there you go, my friends. I hope whatever's in your cup, whether it is something iced, whether it is something nice and warm for your tummy, whatever it is, I hope it brings you peace and joy. It is absolutely, today, I don't know. I was watching the thing on Texas and I just, you know, I don't know. I, I'm, I'm struggling, I really am. I just, I just don't understand this world sometimes. And I find that to be, it's, it weighs so heavy on my heart, those poor babies. Just, I just, um, okay. So this is, <laughs> this is my share for today. I've got some blonde coffee, I've got some butterflies, and I've got a lot of love for all of you. I hope your day is going great, my friends. Take care of each other, take care of yourself. And I will see you on my next video. As always, please remember to give this a like if you like my content and hit that subscribe button with notifications on and let you know when I have a new video up. And I will see you soon. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.